Hi, hello, welcome to VHTL Basics. Today we are going to discuss about the difference between SRAM and DRAM. If you haven't subscribed this channel yet, please subscribe this. First of all, we need to know what is SRAM. SRAM stands for Static Random Access Memory. It is a type of volatile memory used in digital design and integrated circuit. SRAM is designed to store and provide fast access to data in electronic devices. It is commonly used in applications that require high speed and low latency memory access, such as catch memory in processors and other high performance computing systems. Characteristics of SRAM Static nature SRAM is static in the sense that it doesn't need periodic refresh cycle like dynamic RAM does. Each memory cell in a SRAM chip is essentially a flip-flop circuit which can hold its state as long as power is supplied. Memory cell structure. The basic storage element in an SRAM cell is a cross-coupled pair of inverters. These inverters store the binary value of a single memory bit. Fast access speed. SRAM offers fast read and write access time compared to other types of memories like DRAM. This makes it suitable for applications that requires quick data retrievals. Larger area. Each SRAM cell is more complex than DRAM cell often requiring six transistors. As a result, SRAM is less dense and more power hunger compared to DRAM. But its performance advantages often justifies its use in specific application. Use of catch memory. SRAM is commonly used as catch memory in CPUs. This is because it can provide quick access to frequently used data and reducing the time that CPU has to wait for data to be fetched from slower main memory like DDR, uh, sorry, DR, DRAM. Higher power consumption. Due to its large size and more complex circuitry, SRAM typically consumes more power than DRAM. This can limit its use in uh, devices with stringent power constraint such as mobile devices. Expensive. The manufacturing process of SRAM is more complex and expensive than that of DRAM which contri contributes to its higher cost. Applications. Apart from the cache memory in processor, SRAM is also used in networking device, graphic cards and other systems where fast and efficient memory access is required. It's important to note that SRAM provides volatile storage, meaning that its content are lost when power is removed. If you are looking for non-volatile memory, technology like flash RAM or hard drives could be the more suitable. Now, what is DRAM? DRAM stands for Dynamic Random Access Memory. It is another type of volatile memory used in digital design and integrated circuits. DRAM is designed to store and provide quick access to data much like SRAM. However, there are significant difference between two types of memories. Key characteristics of DRAM Dynamic nature Unlike SRAM, DRAM is dynamic in that it requires periodic repressing of its memory cells. This is because the charge stored in each memory cell gradually leaks away over time. As a result, the data in DRAM cell must be read and rewritten before it's lost. Memory cell structure. The basic storage element in DRAM cell is 
a single transistor and capacitor. The charge stored in the capacitor represents the binary value of the memory bit. Lower density and cost. DRAM cells are simpler in structure compared to the SRAM cells, requiring only one transistor and capacitor. This makes DRAM more compact and less expensive to manufacture than SRAM. Slower access speed. DRAM has slower access times compared to SRAM. This is due to need for periodic refresh cycle and additional time required to read from and write to the storage capacitors. Used for main memory. DRAM is commonly used as a main memory in computers and other devices. It provides a large storage capacity compared to SRAM at a time at, at a more affordable cost. Lower power consumption. DRAM typically consumes less power than SRAM. This can be advantageous in device where more uh, power efficiency is a priority. Applications. DRAM is used in wide range of devices including personal computers, smartphones, tablets, gaming consoles and more. It provides the main working memory for these devices, allowing them to run application and store temporary data. Volatile memory. Like SRAM, DRAM is volatile memory meaning that its content is lost when power is removed. This is in uh, contrast to non-volatile memory like flash memory which retains the data even when power is turned off. In summary, both SRAM and DRAM are types of volatile memory used in design, digital design. They have distinct character that makes them suitable for different applications. SRAM offers faster access time and it's often used for cache memory while DRAM provides higher storage density and is commonly used as main memory in various compu computing devices. Now we are going to discuss difference between SRAM and DRAM. SRAM and DRAM are two, two distinct type of uh, volatile memory used in digital design while both serve the purpose of storage storing data they differ in terms of their characteristic structure performance and application here is a summary of key difference between SRAM and DRAM in digital design still cell structure SRAM each SRAM cell typically consists of several transistors configured in a flip-flop circuit this result in a more complex cell structure that provides faster access time and does not require periodic refreshing. DRAM Each DRAM cell consists of several a single transistor and a capacitor. This simpler structure enables higher density memory arrays but it requires periodic refreshing to maintain the data integrity. Access speed SRAM. SRAM offers faster uh, access time compared to DRAM because it's flip-flop circuitry. It can quickly respond read and write requests without the need of refreshing cycle. DRAM. DRAM has lower access time due to the need for refreshing and the inherent latency in reading from and writing to the capacitor-based cells. Density and cost. SRAM. SRAM cells are larger and more complex, requiring multiple transistors. This reduces the density of memory chips and makes them more expensive to manufacture. DRAM cells are smaller and simpler, allowing for higher density memory chips at lower cost per bit. Power consumption. SRAM. SRAM generally consumes more power than DRAM due to its larger cell size and more complex circuitry. DRAM. It's more efficient than SRAM, making it suitable for device with power constraint. Refresh requirement. 
SRAM cells doesn't require periodic refreshing as they can hold their data as long as power is supplied. DRAM cells need power periodic refreshing to counteract charge leakage from the capacitors. This refreshing process consumes memory access bandwidth. Applications SRAM is often used for cache memory in processor and other applications that require fast and frequent memory access such as high performance computing and real time systems. DRAM. DRAM is commonly used for main memory in computers, smartphone, tablets and other devices where a balanced between storage capacity and access speed is important. Usage scenarios. SRAM suitable for application that demands low latency and high speed memory access where cost and power consumption are secondary concern. DRAM suitable for application that requires balance between storage capacity, access speed and cost making it a practical choice for general purpose memory in most computing devices. In summary, SRAM and DRAM have distinct advantage and disadvantage that makes them suitable for different applications. SRAM offers faster access time but higher cost and power consumption while DRAM provides higher density, lower cost and better efficiency at the expense of slightly slower access speed and the need for refreshing. The choice between SRAM and DRAM depends on the specific requirement of the digital design and the intended application. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe this channel for more videos.